library for law students across the cool and shaded quadrangle. On your way to the staircase to get the second floor, you get to pass by the AVR3 where lots of programs and other small gatherings are held. Going up to the second floor, you can find the Office of the College of Business Administration Education. UM is the only school in Mindanao granted a Center of Excellence by CHED for its business and management programs, as well as Level 4 accreditation by the PACOCOA. So if you're planning on a career in business-related dealings, the CBAE is for you. Our college offers the following programs under the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Entrepreneurship, Legal Management, Real Estate Management, Marketing Management, Financial Management, Human Resource Management, and the new program Major in Business Analytics. The third floor also houses our expansive library and information center. That covers the Bolton side. Let's head on over to the Embassy Campus. Across the UN Bolton is the Embassy side, and it's named that way because it used to be the grounds for Japanese Embassy back in World War II. Today, it is a sprawling area that houses the gymnasium for large UM events, our admission office, our Center for Health Services, or the student clinic and the external relation office out front on the first floor. Going up, you can find the International Affairs Office where matters for foreign exchange students are processed among others. And walking further, you will find the office of the Senior High School Department. Outside of the Embassy Campus, on the Ponciano side, we have the UM Multitask Diagnostic Center, which offers various laboratory services like blood testing, x-ray, and doctor consultations. UM Bolton and Embassy Campus are located at the heart of downtown Davao, so it's easy to commute from here to many other places you might need to go. And speaking of which, did you know that UM has a campus at Matina? I'll send you over to our teacher friends in Matina Campus and they can show you around. We're now inside the University of Mindanao's largest campus, the 28-hectare Matina Campus, encompasses the Matina area going up to Ma'a. Right beside the Gravahan exit is the basic education building where it caters from kindergarten up to junior high school students with lots of space for learning and play. Going further inside the campus, you'll spot the four-story business engineering building. Its first and second floor houses laboratories for engineering programs. It is the premier engineering school for its level four accreditation granted by the Bakukoa and the Center of Development Studies by the Commission in Higher Education. UM College of Engineering offers the following programs, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, major in Structural, Water Resource, Transportation, and Geotechnical. The third floor of the BE building is home to Davao Region's roster of top-notchers of the CPA licensure examination. The College of Accounting Education has Level 3 accreditation from PACOA and is certified by the Commission in Higher Education as a Center of Development. The College of Accounting Education offers the following programs Bachelor of Science in Accountancy Bachelor of Science in Internal Auditing Bachelor of Science in Accounting Information System Bachelor of Science in Management Accounting The Learning and Information Center takes up the entire topmost floor of the BE building it houses all the university's books available for borrowing. Let's take a scenic trip to the College of Hospitality Education. Located near the UM Matina Gymnasium, the College of Hospitality Education has level 3 accreditation from Pakukoa and offers the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management and Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. The College of Hospitality Education also has industry-level facilities like the La Spezia Mini Hotel, the Function Hall, and the Kitchen and Bakery areas. 
Located behind the gymnasium is the UM hangar where students can test their inventions and other experiments. The hangar holds the university's Coleoptera Research Center, the first university-based center in the Philippines dedicated to study the conservation and cataloging of Philippine beetle species. Every large university such as UM has a place where students gather for major events. And UM doesn't just have its Bolton Gymnasium, we also have the Matina Gymnasium too. Equipped with fold-away bleachers and professional standard flooring for the courts, the gym is the perfect venue for sporting and other extracurricular activities. Despite being a bustling school, there's plenty of space in UM Matina for some quiet time and to be surrounded by nature. UM Matina has a mini forest with tables and benches because UM believes that learning and rest isn't just limited to the walls of a room. Is this tour making you a little hungry? Across the gymnasium is the university canteen and food court, which serves a variety of affordable meals, snacks, and drinks, where students can eat comfortably. Tables are regularly sanitized and electric fans are provided. Let's head down to the JT building! Named after the school's founder, Guillermo E. Torres, the building is home to Davao Region's producer of top notchers in the licensure examinations for teachers. The College of Teacher Education offers the following programs. Bachelor of Elementary Education, Bachelor of Early Childhood Education, Bachelor of Special Needs Education, Bachelor of Physical Education, and Bachelor in Secondary Education, major in Biological Sciences, English, Social Studies, Filipino, and Mathematics. Also, found on the first floor of the GET building is the Audiovisual Room 2, an air-conditioned and carpeted, fully equipped facility with cinema-style folded seating, which is frequently used for different programs. The second and third floor of the GET building is occupied by the premier criminology school in Davao, the College of Criminal Justice Education. The CCJE offers Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Bachelor of Science in Industrial Security Management. Heading further inside the campus, away from GET, will reach the DPT building. Named after former school president Dolores P. Torres, the four-story building houses the mini auditorium, the quality management office, research and publication center, institute of pedagogical and assessment center, some laboratories, and pocket gardens on its first floor. Located on the DPT's second floor is the College of Arts and Sciences Education. CASE offers the following programs, Bachelor of Arts in English, Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Agroforestry, Bachelor of Science in Forestry, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Bachelor of Science in Public Administration, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, and Bachelor of Science in Social Work. The third floor of the DPT building houses the College of Health Sciences Education, or the CHSE. CHSE offers Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. Sharing the floor with CHSE is the College of Computing Education. CCE offers Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Bachelor of Science in Information System, Bachelor of Science in Entertainment and Multimedia Computing, major in Game Development and Digital Animation. The topmost floor of the DPT building is home to the Creative Academic Unit of UM, the College of Architecture and Fine Arts Education. CAFAE offers Bachelor of Science in Architecture, Bachelor of Fine Arts major in Painting. Let's head back down and you'll see that across the DPT building is our professional school's building. It is led by its dean, Dr. Eugenio S. Guhao, and serves to bring globally recognized 
ISO standard and PACOCOA accredited postgraduate and doctorate degrees to more Dabawenos. We're about to head out now, but before we leave, let's take a look at the UM Oval Track and Sports Stadium. It has a 400-meter rubberized track suitable for track and field training and other sporting activities. The sports stadium served as the venue for the 2019 Palarong Pambansa. Thanks for joining this campus tour! Oh, by the way, even though UM is already a formidable university that is second in the whole Philippines to offer the most number of Bakukoa accredited programs, we do not rest. The administration keeps on working very hard just to be sure that more Filipinos here and abroad are able to obtain quality, affordable, and open education. Stick around as we discuss the online enrollment process and online learning management system. Hope to have you here at UM soon, Ga! And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the University of Mindanao. And um, this is the University of Mindanao information session that would cater um, different programs of the university so that you'll be able to um, have a decision of what um, course that you would take no, on, um, on the next um, year no, or on the next semester. All right. So um, this morning, no, we are very privileged no, to have with us um, <clears throat> professors no, from the College of Arts and Sciences um, Education, and they are, they are here no, to help us uh, know and discover no, the, the perks of these um, programs no, offered by the University of Mindanao under the College of um, Arts and Sciences Education. All right. Okay, so together with us no, this morning are the professors no, for BS Mathematics. We have uh, Professor Simber Orvi Quevedo and Professor Angelito Di Gardose. Sir, can you uh, just have your camera on so that our students can see us, see your faces? All right. <clears throat> and together with us also is the program head our program coordinator of the BS Biology, um, Professor Edgar Biretorta. Sir, kawai kawai naman dyan. All right. Ayan. So I think no, our students are also now ready to know, know what are the perks or what, what, what should they expect once they enroll no, in this following courses to BS Biology and BS in Mathematics. Without further ado, to give us more inputs and information with regards to the first program that will be presented today, the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. We have the speakers, Professor Simber Orvi Quevedo and Professor Angelito Gardose. Sir? Hello, maayong good morning to all. Good morning, Sir Benji, and as well as our senior high school students who are here, as well as also the incoming first-year students. No? So I know some of you here are still undecided on what particular course that you're going to take up in college. But it is our hope that by this program orientation, so you will be able to be helped and be guided and be informed on what particular program that each program can offer you. So without further ado, um, allow me to share my screen. Okay. Okay. Correction right Um, am I able to share my screen, Sir Benji? Yes, po, sir. Okay. Yes, po, sir. Thank you. So, um, by the way, I am Simber Orvi Quevedo, and I am a faculty member of the BS Mathematics Program. And together with me is Dr. Angelito Gardose. And this morning, uh, we will be presenting to you a brief overview of what is this BS Math Program all about. No? So, open-minded ba tayo, guys? <laughs> so, have you ever wondered kung ano ba itong BS Math? No? What is this BS Math program all about? No? Mayroon bang ganung kurso? <laughs> so, well, of course, there is. No? And in simplest term, BS Math program is actually a four-year non-board program. And um, it, it's from its name, 
per se, the BS Math, its main objective or primary objective is really to study the, the nature of mathematics, the pure and applied mathematics, and to learn also its underlying principles and its applications to the real world context. No? So if you like math, or if you have um, inclination to math, then this one is for you. No? So as what mathematician Arthur Benjamin um, said, no? that we, if we want to learn math, and learning mathematics is not just about computation. No? It is also something about looking for application, and it's just a solving for the value of x, but it's also about finding the reason why we have obtained that value. No? So we make meaning out of the, uh, the value or computations that we have obtained, okay? And that is very important, no? and that is very important that we all know that this logical thinking, this problem solving, and the decision making skills that you will be developing as you learn the BS Mathematics program, no? because this program is highly regarded and valued by varied um, uh, employers across many job sectors. So, ano pala yung trabaho na gihintay sa akin kapag ako ay nakapagtapos na ng BS Math? No? So, magandang tanong yun. No? So, ano nga ba? <laughs> so, well, unlike other courses, so the BS Math is a kind of unique. Why? Because... Um, it offers a broad spectrum of opportunities to our learners. So if and only if you are open-minded and you have this interest, you have this knowledge, and of course, pinaka-importante, my skill talaga tayo at foundation in mathematics. No? So sooner or later, you will just learn and discover that there will be plenty of jobs pala na I could be fitted to or suitable to. So in fact, no, the, the Philippine Statistics Authority published in the year 2020, the top 10 highest paying occupations in the Philippines. No? And the top one on the list are actually the mathematicians, the actuaries, and statisticians. No? So if we base from this published report of the PSA, so it is really, we can say you know, that the BS Math graduates could more likely land to a reputable and a high earning job. No? So indeed, there is a wide range of opportunities that comes from the universal need of the graduates that had this strong analytical and problem-solving skills. No? Kaya ito yung nagiging edge sa kaaset ng aming mga BS Math graduates. So let us now take a glimpse of the historical background no, of the BS Math program, of how the BS Math program um, started in UM. So. The program was actually first offered as Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics with government permit recognition number 832 issued, in, uh, issued on October 17, 1983. Later, the curriculum was changed to Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and produced its first graduate as BS Mathematics in the year 2000. So the program aimed to, to provide students with a curriculum that represents the breadth and depth of mathematics from classical to contemporary, from theoretical to applied, to develop in the students the greater appreciation and understanding of the importance of mathematics in history and in the modern world, to prepare our students who plan to pursue a career in the academe, and to prepare the students for the jobs or even research work that requires analytical thinking skills. So that is why if you try to look into the occupations now of RBS Math graduates, some of them are working into some private company like San Miguel, Coca-Cola, and even become entrepreneurs and even working in the government. So in September 2019, the BS Mathematics program was granted level one no, accredited status by the Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation or the PACOCOA. Okay, so indeed, no, mathematics experts ay in demand talaga worldwide. Saan mang sulok ng mundo ay in demand yung mga magagaling sa math. So the BS Math graduates can take the following careers but not limited to this one. No? So uh, mathematics major or graduates, first we have careers in accountancy and finance. 
So, hindi ito siya accountancy talaga na ano ha, exactly. But math majors could have a range of opportunities in this field and across many different industries. But of course, a BS math graduate should need to upgrade and to gain professional qualification to become really a accountant. No? So in finance, man, on the other hand, a math enthusiast could do market research and analysis, developing financial models and equations, no, forming solutions that they would present it to their clients. No? So that's it in the career in accountancy and finance. Math majors could also take the role or can work into actuarial related industries. So using mathematics, using statistics, using financial theories to study uncertain future events, you know, and especially those concerning insurance and pension programs. Okay, And also, um, mathematicians or the mathematics majors would also take the role of a statistician or a data analyst, of course, with proper education and training. And the most popular one that many rewarding math careers can really be found for our math majors to work into the academe no, or in teaching. So as we all know, BS math graduates are really high sought after because of their numeracy skills, no? yung magaling sa math. So isa sa mga inahanap ngayon ng uh, a number one priority ng any academic institution. Okay? So... Now, let us proceed to the program, Educational Objectives of the BS Math Program. So, tatlo lang yung program educational objectives ng BS Math. No? Three to five years after graduation, the BS Mathematics graduates are expected to manifest the following competencies. So, number one is to perform jobs that require analytical thinking and quantitative skills. Okay? And number two, Engage in research and continuing professional development. So after they graduate with their BS math degree, they could proceed to their master's degree and their course uh, doctor's degree, doctorate degree. And lastly is to demonstrate deeper appreciation and understanding of the importance of mathematics in the world. Okay. Now, by the time of graduation, for this one is for the program student outcomes, the BS Mathematics students should be able to have the following competency. So letter A, demonstrate mastery in the core areas of mathematics, in algebra, analysis, and geometry. So this means to say that a student who graduates from this BS Math program should be a master of the subject matter. And letter B, demonstrate skills in pattern recognition, generalization, abstraction, critical analysis, synthesis, problem solving, and rigorous argument. So that is why if um, some BS math graduates would also took, up, took uh, a law or you know, to proceed to law, to study law and become a lawyer. Okay? And then letter C, develop an enhanced perception of the vitality and importance of mathematics in the modern world, including their interrelationships within math and its connections to the other disciplines. Letter D, appreciate the concept and role of proof and reasoning and demonstrate knowledge in reading and writing mathematical proofs. Letter E, make and evaluate mathematical conjectures and arguments and validate their own mathematical thinking. And lastly, communicate mathematical ideas orally and in writing using clear and precise language. So... I think this ends my presentation. Thank you so much for listening. And now um, we are going to, I will pass this to uh, my co-professor, Dr. Angelito Gardose, to discuss the on-the-job training program of the BS Mathematics program. Okay, so take it away, sir. Okay, thank you, Sir Sember, Professor Sember Kev Kevedu.
allow me to share my presentation. Uh, sir, were you able to see on screen? Yes, Paul, sir. Thank you. By the way, my, my, my name is Angelito de Gardose, uh, faculty member of the uh, BS Mathematics program. For the continuation of uh, this orientation, I will talk about, I will tackle about uh, on the job training uh, program of the BS Mathematics. No? So the, the OJT program is a course requirement uh, okay, the OGT program is a course requirement that provides opportunity to the students to apply the concepts, theories, and ideas learn in the classroom. Uh, it exposed the students to perform in a real working environment in order to enhance their skills and prepare them for once they get out from the university. Uh, attainment of the OGT program uh, objectives ensures the possibility of good performer, performer graduates. Uh, this training program is, is vital and dynamic and skill-centered for the students to effectively grasp the, the practical learning in the workplace. Actually, the students are required to render at least, no, at least 300 uh, working hours, okay, in, in, in a, a particular or, or, or a, a partner industry. So, and here are our partner industries or our host, no, host training establishment. Maybe the, 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 the Commission on Higher Education that's in Region 11, the, the CHED RO 11. We have also the Philippine Statistics Authority, uh, particularly in, in, in Davao Sioux del Sur. So another one, we have a partner industry from, from, from Franklin Baker Company of the Philippines that is in Santa Cruz. And then we have also the in, in the office of the Ombudsman, Office of the Deputy Ombudsman for Mindanao. And uh, you can also have in the, the, the Dafa Light no? Power Company. Uh, There's an Aboites company. And it could be in Coca-Cola Butler's Philippines in Olas, Davao City. Or if you want to to have your OJT in, in a bank. So we have also a, an agreement with the Land Bank of the Philippines. And of course, the, the, you know, the, the China Bank. Okay, now for, for present and past affiliation with uh, professional organizations, uh, educators may have heard the importance of joining professional organization, but why? Professional organization can seem expensive or maybe even a waste of time to educators uh, who are already busy you know, putting forth their best efforts each day in their classrooms and within various career paths you know, within the field of education. However, uh, joining professional education is an important consideration you know, for educators, especially those who want to continue to learn, uh, grow, and collaborate. Now, as faculty member of the university, uh, particularly in the BS Mathematics program, uh, here are some you know, uh, five solid benefits you know, that can expect to glean from a professional uh, organizations. Uh, networking with fellow educators. No? So networking remains perhaps one of the most you know, obvious reasons why we should join professional organization. Second, uh, opportunities for research. So professional organizations, organizations allow us the opportunity to learn about uh, cutting edge research you know, in education. Uh, present, uh, their, their, present their findings you know, and gain access to uh, specific research journals. The third one is that leadership skills improvement and practice. You know, since many professional organizations 
uh, offer the, the chance for us to become members of the boards, uh, lead workshops or take part in other leading leadership opportunities. So these organizations also give us you know, more chances to both improve and practice our leadership skills. The fourth one is to access uh, specific grants, fellowships, and, you know, and, and awards. So a major perk of uh, uh, professional organization is the access for us to get grants, you know, fellowships, and awards that uh, simply provide more funding for better teaching methods and other uh, education-related uh, research. The last one is that in priorities, priorities, prioritization of growth as, as an educator. So overall, we should consider joining professional organizations to prioritize growth and not only feel as they are getting by as educators. And since the field of education is constantly changing, networking with you know, fellow educators and getting access to research, uh, leadership and extra funding are all important ways you know, to, to stay relevant within uh, education. So, so here are our, our present and, and past no, affiliation with professional organization of the faculty of the, the, the BS Mathematics programs. You have the Mathematical Society of the Philippines. This is an annual, an annual gatherings no, for, for yung mga uh, mathematics enthusiasts, no? yung faculty na mathematics enthusiasts. And there are also students no, who are presenting their, 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 their papers no, in, in, in this organization. We have also the Philippine Council of Mathematics Teacher Education or the MathTed Incorporated, the Philippine Statistical Association Incorporated, the PSAI. We have also the, the Philippine Association of Institution for Research uh, Incorporated or PAIR. And on behalf of the BS Mathematics program, no, added by our energetic uh, program head, Professor Ronnie Alihan, and of course, our beloved Dean, no? yeah, Dean Casey Concepcion. Uh, thank you. No? Thank you for, for listening and thank you for, for joining with us. Sir. So thank you so much, uh, Professor Gardose and Professor Quevedo for um, sharing to us no, the perks no, of enrolling Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. All right, so this time, no, um, let's go on to the next um, speaker no, of, of this um, info session. All right, so um, for a while. To give us more inputs with regards to another uh, program um, offered in, in the University of Mindanao. The um, all right, the, the program head or program coordinator of the Bachelor of Science in Biology, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Edgar B. Retorta, sir. Hello, uh, am I audible now, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, hold on, please. Uh, wait. Okay, wait, uh, is my PowerPoint now visible, guys? Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay, Or hold on. slideshow, sir. Yeah, wait lang. Yes, yeah, so, sir, naka slideshow na. Okay, so there you have it. Is it now nakaslice show na ba siya, sir? Yes, what, sir. Okay. Yes, what, sir. Yeah, so once again, good morning to each one of us. And thank you very much, sir, for that introductory. And good morning to all of you guys. Uh, you know what? I am so very excited and thrilled now because uh, I am going to share the pieces of information and some details about our program from the College of Arts and Sciences 
uh, education, which is the Bachelor of Science in Biology, uh, with a specialization in ecology, biodiversity, research, and plant biology. Hoping and praying, mga ga, that you are all excited as I am this morning. So the question there is that, where is why is there a need for you to take this program? Well, before that, let me introduce to you myself first. I am Mr. Edgar Torta. Uh, actually, I've been teaching for almost 25 years, and I've been at the university for quite long years, seven years no? uh, in counting. At this time, as what I said, it is my honor and privilege to explain to you all guys why I am encouraging you to work your brain cells and uh, remove all those cobwebs in your brain for you to be able to know the importance why there is a need for you to take the program. Well, before that, uh, let us trace the background of our program. Okay. As for the program, the program was actually recognized with the government recognition number 13 of series 2013 and produced its first graduate five years ago in 2017. And according to the respondents of the alumni of the program, 10% of them were pursuing their medical studies and then 30% of them right now were, were clerical work and then um, for the professional, technical, and supervisory, there were actually 23%. And then 10% of them were actually uh, managerial and executive. And lastly, 17% of them were self-employed. And recently, we are actually, the program applied for level one accreditation by PACOCOA last December of 2021. Now, uh, where does this program take you? So let us now talk about the nature of the program. As for the nature of the program, biology as one of the academic disciplines has broadened and diversified with this, what we call an advanced laboratory equipment and sophisticated techniques in collaboration with the other fields of disciplines like chemistry, physics, criminology, and take note, we have business also as well as engineering. So it has led to this, what we call a dynamic development in research in all levels of biological complexity from molecules to ecosystem where their properties and interaction are analyzed. So the program is structured as generalized framework of the study with the end view of grounding you learners with the fundamental concept principles and theories of all the biological, natural, and physical sciences, and of course, the conduct of research. It includes appropriate skills and training in the efficient processing, not only processing, but also the presentation of information in both written and oral form. So these are the five uh, program educational objective. So, you can be employed in the government and or private institution and other agencies where scientists with this, what we call the biological expertise are needed. And second can also be engaged in the entrepreneurial activities. Third, conduct research in various areas in biology. And fourth, undertake a postgraduate education and in biology and allied field, allied fields, which closely related to some other disciplines like uh, agriculture, fishery, uh, nursing, nutrition, medicine, veterinary, veterinary medicine, animal and plant sciences, and environmental science. And of course, pursue a career in teaching. What are the program student outcomes since the university is an outcome-based outcome institution? So these are the student outcomes. First is develop an in-depth understanding of the basic principles governing the science of life. And I know that you have this basic idea of uh, biology and its 
different fields in or different branches in biology. So we were going to help you to deepen all of those things. Second is utilize these techniques, procedures, are relevant to biological research work in laboratory or field setting. Third is apply all of these basic mathematical and statistical computation during your uh, senior and junior high school and use this appropriate technology in order for you to analyze biological data. And lastly, extend knowledge, critically assess current views and theories in various areas of natural science. Okay, at this time, now let us talk about the curriculum. The curriculum of the program present a balanced treatment of all branches of biology with the inclusion of the recent advances in biological studies. So the fundamental courses are introductory foundation courses in biology covering, uh, in covering essential topics wherein laboratory is required of all these courses. Okay, so as to the first year and second year, these are your uh, major courses, general botany, general zoology, general ecology, you have general physiology, and then you have also the systematics, developmental biology, genetics, and we have also evolutionary biology, microbiology, and the cell and molecular biology. Now, when you proceed to the third year level, this is now the time that you were going to select or choose a major of specialization because the university offered two uh, significant specialization in the program that provide an in-depth knowledge and concentration of the specific teams. So the question there is that what are these programs? So these are ecology and plant biology. So what are the courses under ecology. So we have biodiversity, entomology, aquatic ecology, biological resource management, and terrestrial ecology. And how about in plant biology? I guess marami na ngayong plantito tsaka plantita in our relatives or in our family. No? So these are the major courses. So we have Moses, Hepatics, and Ferns, Ethnobotany, Plant Physiology, taxonomy of higher vascular plants and plant morphology. And now, after attaining all of those essential knowledge and skills of the program, you are now, guys, entitled to practice and apply what you have learned in the program to our chosen partner industries. So these are our uh, partner industry. So we have Department of Science and Technology in Region 11. We do have also Davao City Water District. And then we do have Federation of Davao Dairy Farmers Co Cooperative, also known as Dairy Best at Kalinan Davao City. And we have the Bureau of Fishery and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR in Region 11, where in this uh, office has three laboratories. So what are their laboratory? So they had a microbiology laboratory, they had also chemical laboratory, and they had also the fish health laboratory. And then the SAGREX. So SAGREX were actually along at Tibungo, Davao City, wherein this is all about the uh, banana exportation. And we do have also the Pentespina orchid and tropical plants, wherein the Dunyo magculture ng mga orchids and as well of course itong Mount Hamigitan Range Wildlife Sanctuary where in our uh, interns were go there for an entire week to discover a lot of flora and fauna. And then aside from academic preparation, it's not only academic preparation yung pinaprepare ng mga student in the program at the university, but also the program participated in this, what we call an extra or co-curricular activities outside the school campus, wherein we are actually the new member of this, what we call the Alliance of Double Biology Majors, wherein uh, this 
uh, organization. We're actually an organization where in uh, schools offering bio program. We're uh, joined together to to conduct a lot of activities, you no, know, which include the uh, sports, and then we do have also dance, and then beauty contests, and the rest. And of course, this is all about the bio Olympics. Okay. And not only that, the program also extended its participation in this, what we called the community extension, wherein both the faculty and the students adopted an area in Barangay Lasang, Davao City, that will help to provide sustainable fish sanctuary in the coastal zone through managing, monitoring, and protecting the mangroves. And then uh, this project actually uh, seek uh, to establish diverse, functional, and self-sustaining mangrove forests that benefit us, human, and the nature. Okay, as to the uh, career opportunities, so biological sciences are, yeah, biological sciences present exciting and a world or a worthwhile career opportunity with a wide range of interest in the different disciplines. Workplaces actually varies from universities, institution, zoos, hospital, government and private companies, and even in the laboratories that may tackle or uh, study about tropical rainforest and even into the deep oceans. So the career opportunities that will lend you to this program First, if we talk about fitness and sports, okay. So as a personal trainer who actually closely really are working with the body conscious people and then wants to improve their physique. So as a professional trainer, you could work with athletes you know, from different sports and also to the ordinary people who want to or who wish to become fit and healthy kasi yun naman talaga ngayon ang trending natin in order to fight the pandemic. So if you're going to help people affected by this uh, physical injuries or illness from playing different kinds of sports or otherwise, give uh, massages, treatments, and training plans to help them recover very quickly. If you enjoy helping people, then you could be a physiotherapist, and this could be a perfect job for you. Okay, next is for the biology and business. I guess this is, sounds unfamiliar to you. Biology can also collaborate into business. Okay, it is actually a commercial activity based on understanding in life sciences and public relation or marketing for biology focused companies. Then it could be biotechnology, bioinformatics, medical representatives, uh, computational biology, and biomedical. So with this, it could help somewhat somehow a global problems by turning our knowledge into an innovative and sustainable solution for the society. Suppose you enjoy helping people no? and would like to work in the hospital or laboratory environment. Okay, So that career in medicine and uh, health care practitioner is good for you, especially in this time of pandemic. In that case, this program is suited for you to become doctor or doctor of medicine. The question there is why? Because of these reports. According to the Department of Health Secretary, Philippines lack how many doctors? 15,000 doctors. The report last 2016. And it states also that medical worker shortage, now, even before the current pandemic, it says here that the Philippines was already facing a serious shortage of medical workers. Based on the most re recent data from the Department of Health, there were actually 40,700 medical doctors in the health sector in the country way back in 2017, which translate to a medical doctor to population ratio of 
take note of the ratio, guys. 0.4 is to 1,000. But this is not enough. Why? Because the general accepted standard is one doctor in every 1,000 population, which means the country was 63,710 doctor shortage given its 2017 population of 104 million. And this was last 2017, how much more this year of 2022. So with that, uh, there is actually a need to increase the number of doctors. So I encourage you right now to, to, to proceed into medical study, okay? So next is um, laboratory custodian. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the laboratory custodian. Okay. Another typical uh, jobs uh, include uh, laboratory custodians. Okay. Uh, wherein uh, this combines the study of living organism and also knowing all of those different apparatus and equipment and even also studying some chemicals in the laboratory. So actually, I am showing to you the laboratory rooms at the university. So these are the different areas of laboratory at the university and its basic uh, laboratory equipment. So with this, uh, you could also be a biochemist. Okay, and another uh, career opportunity, medyo marami talagang mapagpipilian kapag uh, kukuha tayo ng, ano, ng program ng BS Biology. Okay, so you could be a naturalist, bioengineers, teachers, and even researchers. So let's talk about this naturalist. So as what you can see, the data shows that the Philippines is one of the mega diverse country. So meaning is that there are a lot of species of flora and fauna. So if you enjoy the great outdoors activities and interest in nature, then this, is, this program is good for you. Why? Because you could be a botanist, zoologist, ecologist, and environmentalist. So in short, there are actually a, a need right now to, 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 to identify those unknown species of flora and fauna. And I guess this is sounds unfamiliar to you when we talk about bioengineers. Okay, a career in engineering may not be the first thing you think when studying biology, right? So some biology job in engineering could be what we call the biological engineering or biological engineer, typically uh, preserving, this is all about preserving soil and water and even natural resources. So in short, in this role, you'll be responsible for the developing techniques to reduce waste and pollution that created by the industries. Okay, now the question again is that are biology teacher in demand? Well, according to this report, that uh, biology and other science teachers are in demand nowadays because according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, a science teach a science, technology, engineering, and math, and especially STEM strand, uh, careers continue to grow because of because of the K-12 program, there's, there is a need for a capable, hardworking STEM educator. As a result here, schools need highly qualified science teacher to educate the student wishing to seek jobs in STEM profession. So pwede din tayo or pwede din kayo magiging guro in the basic education and even in the college level. Now, lastly, uh, biology researchers, okay. These biology researchers work over various disciplines uh, that explore what makes up uh, living things. So researchers may work in different universities, institutions, or 
government and private companies such as our very own pillars of the university. We do have Dr. Annalyn Cabras. We have also Dr. Milton Medina and we have Dr. RJ Villanueva. As they discover this, that is what we call the Metapocritus Veletoresiae. This actually named after the president of the University of Mindanao. And they also discovered this kind of plant, which is Hoya Indai Sarariye, where it named after our very own mayor of Davao City. And she is actually running now for the vice president. So, and with that, there are, and with this, guys, uh, these are actually the brilliant, or let us say the brain cells of the program. So let me show you the brain cells of the program. Hold on. What happened to my slides? Okay, so the personality, so the brain cells of the program. So there you have it. So the brain cells of the programs, we do have Dr. Annalyn Cabras, Dr. Milton Medina, Dr. RJ Villanueva, Dr. Normaliza Morales, Dr. Reddy Lizubsuban, Dr. Hazel Carrion, and yours truly, Mr. Edgar Ritorta. And we do have also local biologists. Uh, they are Angel Alcala, the marine ecologist, Ramon Barba, plant physiologist. Uh, for the Philippine wildlife biologist, we do have Dioscoro Rabor, Ermita V. de Guzman as plant morphogenesis. And of course, these are our national scientists. No? There were actually too many to mention, but I, all, I, all, I only selected uh, the recent one. We do have Ernesto O. Domingo. Uh, he focused on the infectious diseases. Claire R. Baltazar, the systematic entomologist pertaining to insects. And for the animals, veterinary medicine, we do have Chidolo M. Tupacio. And the phytochemistry, Luz Oliveros Bilardo, they are actually considered our national scientists. And not only that, guys, and I guess you are all familiar with this, let's talk about the cele celebrities. So sino ba yung mga celebrities inclined to biology and some uh, allied fields? No, So they are Alec Dungo. Are you familiar with this guy? He is actually the PBB housemate of 2017. Uh, he is actually a pharmacist nowadays. And we do have Marika Reyes, no? isa sa mga pinakamagandang artista sa Pilipinas, wherein she, she finished BS Biology at the, at the Ateneo de Davao, Ateneo de Manila University. And we have Angeli Gonzalez. She is a former child star. So now I am encouraging you to, 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 to think of it, to think a lot of times if you were going to enroll in our program. So biology now, guys, is the study of complicated things that give the appearance of having designed for a purpose. So Taranaga, enrolled na at the University of Mindanao. Thank you for listening. And once again, good morning. All right. Thank you so much, Professor Edgar Ritorta, for giving us those information with regards to um, the Bachelor of Science in Biology. So there you have it, guys. Those two programs um, offered by the University of Mindanao under the College of Arts and Sciences Education. So hopefully, you know, uh, with those information given by our speakers, you will be able to um, contemplate and be able to decide you know, what program should you take no, uh, once you enter college, no, soon. And um, <clears throat> so this time, um, we would like to also inform no our our um participants no uh, here in our Zoom and even um in the YouTube channel. You, know, you can still review no um informations no with regards to our um um presentation or info session this this morning so you can still check this 
uh, on our YouTube channel. So you just have to follow us no, on our different social media pages. So here, here are the official page no, of the University of Mindanao. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also TikTok. So you just have to search at Unimin Official. And of course, more so some videos and information about the university, you can just subscribe. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, the University of Mindanao Official. So um, hopefully no, that we'll be able to see you soon here at the University of Mindanao. And we also would like to thank no, our speakers, our professors who are here. We have um, Professor Angelito Gardose, Professor Simber um, Orviquevedo, Professor Ronnie Alihan, and also Professor Edgar Etorta. We are very thankful no, for um, allotting your time and also your um, yeah, precious time to be with us no, this uh, morning and be able to give um, lots of information to our um, soon-to-be students. All right. So again, sir, thank you so much. All right. And for us to be informed of what to expect on the next semester and how can you enroll online at the University of Minnow, please take a look at this video. What to expect for the upcoming semester? Because of the pandemic, UM is taking action to make sure that students' education is not left behind. Get ready for the new normal online blended learning. As per Management Committee on Instruction, presented in the Quality Management Council, the entire thing is designed as a hybrid mode of instructional delivery with online learning through the LMS as the primary platform during the pandemic transition. We have e-learning through email, SMS, and group chat. M-learning through smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. B-learning through Broadcast University on Air. Correspondence learning or the SIM SDL manual, which can be picked up or arranged by courier. And finally, the residential or face-to-face -face mode depending on quarantine conditions. In short, students shall be encouraged to invest on the primary mode while taking advantage of the blenders. But don't worry! The school shall adapt to both asynchronous and synchronous learning where students can keep up with class on their own convenient pace. So, what are you waiting for? Enroll now at the University of Mindanao! You've heard about the University of Mindanao's quality, affordable, open education that is ISO certified, accredited with various highly respected organizations, and believes in a holistic education to develop diamonds in the rough. But how do you enroll as a new student in the middle of a pandemic? Step 1. Please fill out the online student registration through this link found on your screen or visit the official university website with the address as follows. This is what the form will look like upon loading on your screen. After you've filled in your details, please take note of the reference number that will be issued. You will need this reference number for the online payment. Step 2. You can forward your down payment through these following banks or payment centers. Step 3. Please wait for an email and text message containing your student ID number and the access code. Please note this might take at least two to three days, but if there is further delay, please call the UM cashier's office through this number. Step 4. After you have received your student ID number and access code, please log in to the UM student portal through this website address shown on the screen. Step 5. Under the Online Enrollment option, 
please click Enroll Course. Step 6. Choose your desired session, then click the Yes option on the screen to finalize your class schedule. Afterwards, please take a screenshot of your enrolled subjects. This screenshot of your subjects will serve as your unofficial soft copy of the Certificate of Matriculation, also known as your Form 1. Step 7. The university's online enrollment system will provide you with your official UM email address. It will be sent to you via the email address that you wrote down in the student registration form, student portal, and text alert. Step 8. Remember, if quarantine restrictions in your area and in Davao City allow, you may claim your official Form 1 and UM Student ID at the Admissions Office, located at UM Embassy along Bonifacio Street, Davao City, right across the Bolton campus. Step 9. Please submit to the university these other required documents shown on the screen on or before the end of the semester. Congratulations! You are officially part of the UM community. See you soon, ga! So again, thank you very much for joining with us this morning. See you soon, mga ga, here at University of Mindanao. Bye-bye and amping.